Oh, first off, my name is Missy Mo, and I am a health and fitness mindset coach and also a lifestyle coach because I think that sometimes we just need to have some positive reinforcement in our lives that we can do hard things, that we can get through hard things. And so my specialty is that, is just knowing that yes, I can get through hard workouts and you can get through hard workouts too, but hey, we have lives that we have to live as well and hard things happen and that we can get through those too. Hey mom, I'm gonna encourage you today to think about three things three things that you are grateful for, all right? It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't have to be some, be some big hoo uh, you know, like boo whatever. It doesn't, it, whatever it is, because I know for me, sometimes the only thing that I could think of uh, to be grateful for whenever I was going through some hard stuff was like having like $20 to go to the grocery store, having, you know, um, gas in my car, having the lights on at my house, all right? And this is true, this is not me making this up, this is really how this this happened. And in those moments, uh, in those moments, whenever you put yourself in a state of gratitude, things change for you. And so I, I just wanna encourage you to think about that and to think about three things that you're grateful for. You know, I am grateful right now that I'm getting to go in the middle of the day, 11 o'clock in the morning, to see my grandbaby, Violet, and my daughter, Mackenzie. Um, and it's so cool. And it's like everybody told me that things would change and that whenever she would arrive, it would be awesome. And I was like so excited and it's like so true. Like, so anytime anybody tells you that, just believe them. And I think Diane, you were one of them that told me like, everything's gonna change whenever you have a grandbaby because you're gonna be driving and going do whatever, all these different things. And it's already happening because I can't go like four days without seeing her. But um, I will have to next week and the following week. But I'm going to absorb some love from her today and I can't wait. But anyway, just so, I just want to encourage you to think about three things that you're grateful for. I mean, I'm grateful that I'm awake, I'm alive, I've got, you know, it's a beautiful day. Yesterday we had lots of rain and so did we the day before, but it is a gorgeous day today and hopefully we don't have any rain, but I think it's still supposed to rain like this afternoon. Um, and that's okay because, you know, everything's looking beautiful. Um, all the, everything's getting watered and that's something to be grateful for because I don't have to like water everything at my house, all my plants. But just so, go ahead and just do that and if you have time um, please feel free to like comment below the three things that you're grateful for today because that may encourage someone that needs to see that there's different things to be grateful for and that you don't have to be perfect you don't have to have this big like ooh wow like I'm grateful for like life and I'm grateful for you know my family da -da 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 -da, and like name them all off or whatever yes you may be grateful for all that but you can go a little bit deeper and just feel free I mean if you're grateful that you're cooking or your husband's cooking a meal for you tonight write that down you know um, whatever it is and just know that you're gonna be okay and sometimes whenever you focus on the good things um, during a hard struggle hey bon just know that the hard times sometimes you're gonna go through the hard times but in the hard struggle be I know it's hard to think about this, but you have to think about the positive and you have to just see, try to look for the silver lining because it's in those silver linings that you find your strength and your endurance and your wisdom and your ability to just cope with different things and also to help others because whenever you change your attitude by getting into a state of gratitude, it's a miracle, a miracle happens. And that is the most blessed thing in the world is that you just, um, you know, you just can, everything just kind of becomes minimal, like the hard stuff, like the big stuff that's just like weighing on your shoulders, whether it's financial stress, whether it is, you know, maybe you have marriage stress, maybe you have a work stress, whatever it is becomes kind of smaller and, the stuff that you're grateful for becomes bigger. I just wanna encourage you to do that because it's in those moments where you think about those things that you grow and you become a stronger person. And it's all about becoming a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. And if that can help you, I do this every day. And I even have an alarm set on my phone 
that reminds me at 10 o'clock in the morning like you know three things three things that you're grateful for and because just in case I didn't do it first thing in the morning whenever I woke up and did my prayer and meditation which I normally always do but it's also a good thing to do is set an alarm on your phone use your technology and uh, you know to, for a win and do that set it you know put a put a setting I mean um, an alarm on your phone and you, you can write in your uh, in what that alarm is about and you and I just have mine that says three things that you're grateful for today and you can do it if you're going through a really hard struggle you can do that in the morning and then you can do that in the afternoon because I promise you sometimes I, I remember I'd have to you know get on get on get into that you know moment of gratitude to where I could deal with life and just see that okay everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay God has a plan and my life has a plan and it's unfolding and you know it's all true it's it's just the way it is and so here we go I am just remember that think about those three things and you know and just get into that state of gratitude because that's going to help you um, for you know for whatever you're going through all right and it's just a great practice just to be thankful anyway so talk to y'all soon and love you guys bye